Oh, I turned on the no, I turned on the windshield wipers. There's a bunch of dust going everywhere. So I'll show you what I got. It came out good, I think. Hi, it's Monday. It's hot. <laughs> I left my car outside and I forgot to put it in, so no. It's hot. And today I'm going to go check out that shop that I mentioned in last week's video about getting my prints printed. Um, so I'm excited for that. And then, I think that's it for today. It smells like fresh cut grass, grass, grass outside. It smells delicious, I love that smell. And then, oh, I turned on the, no, I turned on the windshield wipers, there's a bunch of dust going in there. Strawberry acai with lemonade. Strawberry acai with lemonade, okay? And then, do you guys have your sausage and cheddar sandwich? I'll take one of those. I came to check out the local print shop here in town and their customer service wasn't the best. So I'll probably just, as much as I wanna get them printed, I think I'll just buy some cardstock and do them myself for right now, which is okay. Cause like, it'll give me experience in printing them and stuff, so. I went to Michael's and made some purchases. So I'll show you what I got. Originally I went to go look for cardstock, but I didn't really know what kind of cardstock I should get for the prints, so I just kind of wandered around the store. So I ended up getting clay for my earrings that I made. The original clay that I have is pink, and so if I want to paint it any other color, I feel like I have to put a white base, or even if I, the earrings that I made. <coughs> so these little cow, earrings i had to paint white because the clay that i use is pink and i don't like the way that they came out because i had to put so many okay let me because i had to put so many layers to cover this this is what the original clay looks like and the clay itself is fine i just don't like having to paint it white when it could just already be white i feel like i'm using white paint when i don't have to so i got that and then i got resin to put over the earrings what i used before once to try and resin those earrings was uh let me see it it was this sculpey gloss glaze and i was thinking maybe it says it on here maybe it doesn't well i didn't look too much into it i just saw that it was from sculpey and it was a gloss glaze so i was like oh i'll use that this was like not that expensive and i tried to put it on the earrings and the paint completely came off and made the earrings like black so this was not it so I got this small little box of resin to try and try this out instead. So we'll see how that goes. Also, I got this small uh, package of this clay because for one, I'm just testing it out because I know there's, I think there's, it's between, oh, this is the third one. Okay, yeah, so there's this one and then there's the Sculpey 2. I don't know what the difference is. So I just got the small one of this to try it out and see if I like it. Also, sorry, I was sniffing a lot. I sneezed like 16 times before I started this. Sorry. And that concludes all my purchases from Michaels. Now I think I'm gonna put some clothes up for sale on my Depop, which will be linked down below. Um, cause I'm kind of backed up on that. I've been meaning to do it for like a few weeks and the pile is just collecting. So I'm gonna do that. Day. Um, today's pretty slow. I just have a couple errands for my mom and then I'm gonna come back. My paper cutter got here, so we're gonna unbox that when I come back. <laughs> 
I listed a couple items on my Depop yesterday and on Mercari and a few of them sold already. So I'm super excited about that. We're going to FedEx to drop a few of them off and then also to the post office. So my review is, I like it better than the one that I was using. That one did not cut straight at all. This is the one that I was using before. I'm still going to keep it for something. I don't know. Maybe I can reuse it. But I definitely like this one a lot better. The only thing that was weird to me was that it's not an actual blade. Like it's just like a, a weird piece of metal that's like you can grab it and like touch it and it's not going to cut your hand. But it cuts really nicely, I think. It cut pretty straight and like sharp edges, so. I liked it. <laughs> So I've been working on this for the past two days. Um, I'm having trouble figuring out what I want to do with the background. I'm not very good at backgrounds. I don't do very much of them. So I'm struggling. Today is Wednesday, my dudes. Um, there's not too much going on today. I showed you guys what I've been working on the past two days. Um, my stomach growled. Um... I'm probably just gonna finish, try and finish up that piece today. I'm making a TikTok with it. Um, and yeah, I think that's it for today. Pretty slow day. I was gonna work on another um, sticker sheet, but this got my attention instead. So probably just do that today. Also, you can't really see it on camera, but I added a grain overlay and I really like how it made it look. Also, I am super proud of this hand. I put blood, sweat, and tears into this. I literally almost gave up on this piece. I was literally gonna cut it off like here, right under her boob, because I just, I like, I couldn't. I hid one hand and this one was stressing me out. So I almost did it. I almost cut it off, but it didn't look good, I think.